Coming to you live from my apartment, it's the Miss Survivor 2014 and Mr. Survivor 2014 results show, and we, uh, I know we're late, we're about an hour after we originally planned to start today, but we, we had a lot to get set up here, and uh, I am here live with myself, uh, we have Nicole Sesternino here, you could talk into the microphone and say hi. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> yes. We, it's going to be that kind of night, folks. We have Parvati here. She has a microphone. Hello. How is everyone? And here's very the, excited. the tabulator, Kurt Clark, live in person. Hello, everybody. Yes. And also, we have a very special treat. Here is one of our finalists, Andrea Andrea Belke is here, but she's on, she's on mute. She's muted herself. And you can see that she's with uh, some other people. Andrea, your camera is on mute. Are you muted? You muted. I didn't mute her. I can't, that I didn't mute Bob, her. I didn't mute her. If if I muted her, I could unmute her. I could unmute her if I could. Look at her face. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yes. Now we hear you. you see? You hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are in a Dallas for you party. I'm so glad to be talking to you guys. Um, I can't wait. It's an hour late, but I cannot wait to hear the results. This is very exciting. This is very this exciting. Is like a, what? It's very tense. It's very tense. We're in an ATM booth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, there's a party upstairs. My boyfriend, he's Dallas from here. It just happened. And we're in an ATM booth with four chicks. So we're very yeah. curious. I think that. That's awesome. I think she should win. I think automatically, that. yeah. That's a new call just, show. Just okay. for the passion. Just, unfortunately, the polls have already closed. So, so Andrew, that this would be good campaigning for next year. I'd vote for you, and I was like, I like, see if you lose. Like, I always like, um, three steps late. It's okay. Oh, maybe not this time. Who are those girls with you, Andrea? Uh, so my friend Kate, who I live with, Hello. my roommate, and this is Sarah, who runs my boyfriend's Facebook page. She got me a few thousand That's votes. Fun. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all wonderful. Well, you that you're very nice because if if I had a girl who ran my Facebook page, Nicole would not be as nice. Yes. Well, then no. <laughs> I mean, this girl doesn't look skanky. Yeah. Yeah. She looks she looks nice. Andrea is RC with you. Um, she's upstairs. Yes. Uh, she's, 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 she's she's fulfilling her Miss Survivor duties upstairs. <laughs> Our seat is very bright as her Smith Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's silver here, so let's go on. <laughs> so, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. Nobody knows that we're You're here. Very cool, Andrea. Uh, so. <laughs> Hi, Barbie. Hi. Yeah, Andrea, are you pressuring us to announce Miss Survivor right now? Yes. I yeah, think I think so. we should he announce it too, without like further ado. That's, that's the whole show. We gotta milk this. I think without further ado, are you guys ready? Okay. Alright, how about this, Kurt, could you give us, with, with Andrea here, could you give us the third place finisher for Miss Survivor? And that way, Andrea, if you're third place, then you can, then, the then you can hang up the phone and go back to the party. Said. Wait, how many <laughs> people were there? Final three. Yeah. Final three. Final yes. three. Final three. Does that sound good, Andrea? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so first off, let's oh, she's gotta figure let's let's set this up here. <laughs> no matter what, Andrea, you have the most support, and you. Well, we'll see if she has the most support. Or at least congeniality. <laughs> if, she, if she wins, she has the most support. If she no, doesn't win, oh, with in her, her phone booth. Yeah, in the in, in those ATM booth. ATM. <laughs> in her ATM booth. So we'll see. Of course, the final three for Miss Survivor that it all comes down to this. It is Sierra. It is Andrea. It is Candace. And those are the people who are vying to be Miss Survivor. And Parvi, can you show us uh, what now we have here with this us? This is what this is what you guys are gonna win. Ooh. Ooh. That is a Miss Survivor very fancy set. Wait, Andrea, weren't you a pageant girl before? Didn't you win? that's here tonight. Didn't you win a beauty pageant before, Andrea? This wouldn't be your first no. time. I have not, but like I'm the only one of the top three of Mr. Rabbit that's here tonight. That's commitment. So far, so far. You're the only person that's popped okay. in so far. I mean, yeah. just, just taking notes. notes. Just taking notes. Just, okay, let's proceed. <laughs> <laughs> she, I Thank think you. she might win Andrea this. Andrea is coming in and calling the shots. Out there, She's directing. There's a lot of viewers of RHAP, and um, I'm the only one here, so just taking notes. That's all. Okay. No that's taken. Good. So, uh, so we have a lovely uh, Miss Survivor what? sash. We have a Miss Survivor tiara. Wait, so this is very legitimate. When okay. I won, my sash was bedazzled, okay, and it was I made it myself. Don't with make a, it feel bad. With a glitter pen. Yes. By Miss actually Lovely Nicole. Puffy pen. No. <laughs> so this is pretty serious. All right. Who's third? With Fraser on the side. Yeah. <laughs> who, who wins? 
All right. So, 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 how many votes were cast, Kurt? Well, let's say let's go back a few weeks in time, shall we? Okay. Like looking at round one, we had um, eight thousand five hundred and twenty-eight votes cast back in round one. We know who the top three were. We don't know what order people placed in round one. So, just to, I'm going to quickly cover that. So, in round one, in third place. Hold on. You're going to tell us the the voting order. In round one. I, I feel like I don't want to know that. You don't want to know yet? I, not, I feel like after the fact, I want to know that. Okay, we can do that after the fact. You want to okay. how many How many total ballots? For one person. That, that, yeah, that many total ballots. So okay. you can only vote for one person. Okay, got it. So ninety three hundred, just over 9,300 votes cast total. Yeah. With 16.2% of the vote. Okay. In third place for Miss Survivor, Sierra Easton. Oh! oh. 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 Is still I'm really glad she's still, still alive. alive. Yeah, we got to hang out there with her. She's here. here. She's in the front, too. It makes it more exciting. Yeah, we have to hang out with the ATM just a little longer. <laughs> Andrea, yeah. what will you do if you win tonight? Scream. Uh, I'm really very excited for this moment of time, but um, I have a lot of plans. Like, I want to do, like, East Coast Roast. Harvey, you were an amazing host for the West Coast Roast. I'll take over the East Coast Roast, or let's have an open mic with Aris and... Wow, she's Brother. very involved. I was thinking Lock just down. along the no, lines of, like, a freak I dance in the ATM. I have this whole planned out. But, hey. I'm sure there will be a freak she's dance. She's taking it on oh, the road. Yeah. All right, what so there were... What are the short-term plans? <laughs> so there were <laughs> nine... Over 9,000 votes were cast for the finals for Miss Survivor? Correct. And there were only... There were 8,000 votes cast last year. So we're, we okay. topped last year's final. We've vote. grown. Wow, We've grown. Congratulations. Rob has a plan. I know. I'm, I'm a testament to the lady. I'm I'm really nervous, especially since you're there, and I now I really want you to win because you're. Yeah, I feel yeah, so yeah, connected. Yeah, you see my face. Of course not. I couldn't <laughs> vote. I have to say impartial. impartial. I have yes. to say impartial. As a former Miss Survivor, you know you have to take the high road yes. on occasion. Unless you're roasting Rob, and then yeah. you get real low, yeah. down and, low. And now, Andrea, it. did RC endorse you? Is it a former, has a former Miss Survivor endorsed you? I mean, you? on Twitter, she just didn't know. Oh, well, like, on Twitter, like, ten minutes ago. Yeah, she just did. <laughs> okay, she did. <laughs> if, you if you check Twitter right really now, yes, I got that support. Woo! Did she win? Did Some so people so say rough. that she... You won dirty. What? I'm people, not, how dare you? How dare you? I just, that's what I, word on the street. You word know, some people street. say that Miss Survivor uh, can't be blonde. That's what some people have also said. I know. Well, it's what? been two brunettes in a row. Well, yeah, but now we're, we're up with Oh, uh, now we're up with two blondes. The, the color barrier has been broken. Blonde no. hair, Miss Survivor. Okay, hey, you know who wins or what? No, this is, we're only like five minutes in. <laughs> Hey, what else do you have so on the agenda here? So do we Mr. Survivor now? Yeah, yeah I think third place Mr. Survivor. Should we take some questions from the from the, from Twitter? No, we gotta do this. We're in the ATM booth. <laughs> we can't I agree. Do, yeah, we, we, you we gotta do, let the girl know if she won. And all right, then, all right, let's let's you want to do all of Miss Survivor? Let's do all all of Miss Survivor. All right. Do okay, you want to announce Miss Survivor, and then we'll take a little, a little bit of a let's break, it, and then do some it. questions. What's the chat room saying? Do they agree? Do they want to know, or should yes, we? Yes, Grandpa. I just read. <laughs> yes, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to read the chat room. That's Everyone just for me. Chatting That's is annoying. annoying. I agree. Let's get it. Let's get it together. And all right. All right. That's fine. Only because it's we we started late. People have to go to work. They want. All right. Okay. All right. Rob? Yes, Andrea. You saw for my exit on Paramount, and I'm a great loser, so whether I win or not, I'm very supportive, I'm happy, and like we're all going to have fun. Okay. All right. All right. There you have it. You've convinced okay. me. I You've like that, me. yeah. Uh, all right. A gra Kurt. gracious winner or loser. Now, Candace, I believe, ca cannot be with us. That She has to work early in the morning. She did text in she her. She has important things to do. Like save lives in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She'll be doing CPR on babies. Yes. She's not out drinking <laughs> at a party. <laughs> she's not at some. She's not at an ATM booth. Schmoozy <laughs> premiere party. All right. Here we go. All right, Kurt. Tell us. Tell us the the, the verdict. Okay. Do you want me to react? Yeah, nervous. Reveal second or jump right to first. Okay. Um, I mean, if you can learn. Yes, yeah, so I think other. tell us tell us first. Okay. okay. Yeah, first. And because then we'll know, obviously. I feel like we need music. Okay. Yeah. Drum roll. Uh, in first place, the winner of Miss Survivor 2014 with 50.4 percent of the vote. Wow. Oh. Miss Belkey, you are Miss Survivor. Oh, congratulations! Oh, so 
party in the phone booth. <laughs> that looks like fun. Congratulations, <laughs> Andrea. You, Andrea. you are Miss Survivor 2014. <laughs> You're Miss Survivor. <laughs> You're in an ATM booth <laughs> with some <laughs> random women. At a fancy party. But you're going to a party. And, and yeah, da yeah. watch Dallas on um, TNT. Watch Dallas on TNT. Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know the words. You know the words, yeah. Monday night, 9 o'clock on TNT. Um, no, but seriously, thank you guys. I actually didn't think I would win because Candace was way more responsive on Twitter. But I meant it. Like, I favorited things, and I appreciate everything. And for so the thank first... You. Thank you, Rob and Nicole, and thank you, Parvati. I appreciate it a lot. I Congratulations. Oh, this is, this, I'm very happy. Hold on, Tabulator me? has something to say. And for the, for the first ATM. ATM. <laughs> it's not the I mean, of winning a mill. You get the money in yeah. the ATM booth. Check, as check, as for our, check for a deposit within about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, make it make rain. rain. Make it rain, Andrea. Make, make it, it rain. rain. <laughs> 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 Money's I'm getting right back. Yeah. I right. don't need money anymore. You're Miss Survivor. You're Miss Survivor. Yeah. All right, Kurt, what do you, do you want to say? I was say, no, for the first, like, three days of the final voting, Candace and Andrea were literally within five to ten votes Just of each other. Oh, my Over God. the course and of, like, What was three the difference days. maker? Um, I, you know, I think it might, must have I been the debate. The song. I think it was actually, yeah, I what? think it was the debate. The debate. Push yeah, around. turn yeah. the tide. Yeah, that's about when the lead started to separate. Yeah, a lot of people were... Was it like when I said... Sierra, your rap sucks, and Candace, your prank was fake. Because I feel like that maybe was the mood changer. It might have been that, or calling out the fact that Candace did not know what sucking kneecaps meant. I think that was the death blow in the. Yeah. That was like what the. Well, finisher. Don't say so, such uh, things. Yeah. All right. Well, Andrea, congratulations so much. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> we're, we'll be very excited to have you. You have big shoes to fill, Andrea. I know I do. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Go rip them off RC's feet. Yes. All right. And dance the night All right. Away. Congratulations. Well, thank you guys so much. I honestly like every tweet and mention. I appreciate and thank you so much. And I can't wait, Rob. Like I'm gonna be obnoxious. Like good. We're gonna do amazing things this year. Yes. I love no, it. No, you're going to be like, Andrea won't stop hitting me up. Like, I want to do awesome things and make Rob as a podcast even greater than it already is. All right. Wow, thank you. I love uh, it. Uh, I do. Like, I'm you've right made here. the right I'm choice, right America. America. Yes. I'll probably regret this decision. But um, <laughs> I can't wait. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Andrea. Have fun, okay? Thank you. I will. Congrats, All right. Congrats, Andrea. Bye, bye, ATM. Bye. Bye. I will. Okay. All right. <laughs> And it's like for the, for the record. It's, it's over. I might close All right, hang up now. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. Yeah, you can hang up now. It's okay. Her party is not as exciting as Mr. Survivor. Yes. Okay. I don't know how to do it. How do you turn it off? They don't know how to turn it off. Why don't there you, you, you read some of the comments, Rob? Okay, let's see. Um, That's a hot picture, Andrea. Oh, God. Yeah. It looks like a, a lion. All right, we're just going to tell a while. Is okay, Mr. Survivor. Uh, yeah. I would like to get a hang up photo. A hang up photo? Yeah. All right. So uh, let's take some of your your reaction here uh, in the in the chat room. I think that most people seemed excited. I saw a lot of uh, yays. I see Nathan is saying dye your hair brown because that would keep the tradition alive for Miss Survivors. Yeah, uh, but you know what? I think it's good to have some diversity in the group. Let's regime change. Re yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Brunette didn't work let's last. Let's see. Last uh, Miss Survivor, second so. time's the charm. Well played, Andrea <laughs> Belke. Live it up. Hashtag Miss Survivor. That's from Ash's Dream Board. So. I love a good dream board. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a dream board. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, Andrea with a bold pledge. That's from uh, My Michael Bita in the chat room. Job. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about our new Miss Survivor? I'm very excited about Andrea. Yeah. I, I really felt like we couldn't go wrong this year. Uh, Absolutely. The e voters had three great choices. Oh, by the way, uh, I heard from Brenda this weekend. Oh yeah. Yes, I did. I Does got. Does she have a new baby? No, she has the same baby. I got. <laughs> I got a. I got an email uh, message on Facebook back from Brenda, and she just wanted to let me know that uh, she does not want to. Uh, be in Miss Survivor. Oh, I'll, so. Okay, I'll I'll make note <laughs> yeah. of that. Okay, so wow. uh, duly noted. Worked Brenda out, yeah. Brenda did not want to. She's do busy Miss being in Baby no. Ross catalogs. Yeah, no, we get lots of catalogs with really Brenda, isn't? Yeah. Nice, yeah. Um, her or her and baby. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know. I haven't it, seen a baby. It, it would have been it would have been good to know last month, but would have. We'll see. 
Um, well, apparently not, Rob, because I'm asking about Andrea. Oh, now yes. You've no, no. Robert, the topic I'm very, no, I'm very excited. I think wasn't even in the running. Three, <laughs> three great people. I think that Sierra and Candace would have been great Miss Survivors also. But I feel like Andrea, you know, this was her second bite at the apple here. She was up against you back in 2012 for the original Miss Survivor. That's right. She was a finalist. That's right. And I think she came She gave in, it her all that she, time. She gave well. it her all. And I feel like she was like Sierra this time around. Where I feel like Sierra, if she goes back and plays again and then is in the running again for Miss Survivor, I feel like then it's gonna it might be her time then. But I feel okay. like this was Andrea's time. Because of the six contestants, male and female, Sierra was the only new player. Yeah, everybody else had a big leg up. So I feel like that you know and she was the only brunette. So you could have said she had a big Sierra leg up. Sierra did very well in the mm -hmm. debates. Some a lot of people loved her underwear story. <laughs> you know that helped a lot with the with the voters. It usually does help to talk about your underwear. Oh, you didn't see the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. wondering how much Andrea's uh, presence at the uh, reality game masters back in May helped her. I mean, she's I mean, she's has a long history of being a good supporter of of rap and she's rap al projects. she's always been you know Andrea has always up. been uh, part of Rob as a podcast yeah. from the time. I really, she I have to say, I'm I'm happy that she took it this time that she took the crown because. She has made some really strong proclamations about carrying the crown forward, and I didn't hear anything about charity work, but, you know, <laughs> we can't all be so perfectly well-rounded all the time, I guess. But she did say Wait, she wants you, you to would have Rod, liked her to hear Rod about charity work? I would have liked to hear something about, you know, going to Africa, <laughs> providing clean drinking water, or, or feeding children, something like that. But, you know, she's in New York, and she's partying the night away, so... Good for her. So we'll make do. Maybe she'll adopt yeah. a mutt. <laughs> yeah, let's see uh, a couple she'll more questions. She'll adopt a stray from Sochi. All right, from uh, Jeremy Woods BB. Although Candace didn't win, she did amazing too. Yes, Candace did. did Candace yes, did, did great. She really came out of nowhere. Candace Can was a strong competitor. Candace was the first person that got voted out on that on that tribe this season of the returning people. And she went to Redemption Island. She hung around for a little bit. She said, F you to Brad Culpepper. But Candace was barely on Survivor yeah. Blood versus Water. And to come in second in Miss Survivor, I think is a, a big testament to her campaign. Yeah. Should we talk a little bit about the round one results? Yeah, tell now? us how the round okay. round one went, and then okay. we can see a little bit of it. And now, no, now we can sort of see the picture of how the campaigning right. so changed actually, things. Actually, in round one, it was a close, almost a tie between Andrea and Sierra in round one. Andrea wow. uh, received 42% of the ballots cast had Andrea as a uh, contest as as a pick, and 41% of the ballots cast had Sierra. Oh, so, so Sierra lost ground in the second round because she was sick. Yeah, and 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 Brenda was actually in third place in the first round Brenda? with. Now Brenda's back in it. <laughs> no, in the, in the first the round. She, she, she was the original. We con we tried to contact her. She never wrote back whether she wanted to be in Miss Survivor or in not. Ah, and that's place. how Candace got in. Yeah, now I'm, but, yeah, I'm on the same page. But a th yes. roughly a third of the ballots cast in round one had Brenda on there. And just as a reminder, Candace had about 21% of ballots cast. So, okay. so she went from fourth place to second. A, a it seems like a today. lot of voters uh, switched their allegiance. It's almost like Andrea held her own. She kept her voters. But it feels like a lot of voters switched from Sierra to Candace. Swing, right. I wonder what that was. Swing voters. Right. And plus the fact that you could vote for, I believe, three people in the first round. I mean, some people, maybe they picked Sierra and Candace. Uh, and people had to like pick between the two of them. And Wait, yeah. Do we have any comments from people that switched their vote? <laughs> if you switched your vote in the chat room, let me know. Yeah, it's interesting <laughs> to know where the Brenda votes went. I want right. to know. Where did the, did the Brenda... I guess, hey, wait, I, you know what? I'm going to start hosting Survivor Live, and we're going to have people tweeting in questions. You should. And so that's why I'm really curious how this works. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, so... It's a teachable moment right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's really helpful because it starts, Survivor Live starts this Thursday. This Thursday? You, you, you do it on... on that uh, was my promo okay. for us. Yeah, yeah, this Thursday. Two people get kicked off this time. Two people in the first episode. Yes. How do you first, know that? I because do I know. Three, the, there's three. The previous special. I know. I know. There's three tribes. Okay, I know that. Brains, <laughs> brawn, beauty. Brain, brain, brains, brawn, beauty. Yeah. Which could be a really good pool for the next Mister and Miss Survivor. Yeah, I think so. What, do you have any thoughts on the beauty tribe? Um, the only one I know that I looked at the at their interviews before. And the one that I know is the big boob cheerleader. Oh, Morgan. 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 Yeah. We just call her boobs. 
Boobs, McGee. Yeah. <laughs> she looks cute. I believe her she name is, is pronounced horse. McLeod, I believe. <laughs> yes. Boobs, Not McLeod. McGee. Um, are, are you going to have the Survivors live in the studio with you again this yes, season? Yes, we're going to have the Survivors live in studio, and the show's going to be live, so people, all of the fans can, wa can watch at the same time, tweet in questions, and then I'm going to get the questions and then ask them. Basically, yeah. I'm like... The channel of the fans. Yeah, that's what you are. You are the, the fan. The fan. Poverty. I, that's what I've always the said. You, you are the, the, yeah. the, 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 the channel of the fans. The fan. All right, so check that out on uh, on CBS.com on Thursdays. Starting Thursday. Starting Thursday. That's right, Thursdays. And if you want to be live, then you have to start writing in at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. Or 4 p.m. Eastern. There you go. All right. So back we'll, to Miss Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> back to Miss Survivor. Um, all right. So let's. Uh, okay. This is um, <laughs> Jeremy. Who also wants to know. Happy for Andrea, but can Poverty be Miss Survivor again? Poverty has to play Survivor again. And she says she's retired. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's the only way you can be Miss Survivor. See, you know what? I was sort of grandfathered in because the first Miss Survivor, you had people from every season. Yeah, we, all time. Yeah. Some and people were mad we didn't really do that with Mr. Survivor this year. We just don't have that kind of time anymore. Yeah, the tabulator does not yeah. want to do that. And, well, it worked out well for me. Yeah, <laughs> and and if we couldn't get Brenda, Colby is not gonna play Mr. Survivor with us. No one's voting for him anyway. Colby didn't have a good showing. Yeah. In you think that the Colby, you think Colby would be final three? Mm, no, James Clement. Of all James? time, he'd be uh, definitely top ten. Yeah, but... it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. Uh, let's take a, a couple more questions. Uh, oh, from Andrea Belke on Twitter. Thank you all. Sorry I was incoherent from an ATM booth, but thank you to everyone who voted for me, Ms. Survivor. She's great. Let's do this. This is why we love her. She is great. I'm yeah. a fan. She's really funny. She's really funny. I really like Well, I'm show. moving to New York, so I get to hang out with Andrea a lot more. During wait, her wait, reign. Hold on. You buried the lead here. You, you're moving to New York? Yeah, in the when? fall. In the uh, fall. So now she's gonna have a little bit of competition for East Coast. Oh, oh so no! Miss Survivor hostess with the hostess. Um. Okay. So. But the, there's a spot opening up on West Coast. There's gonna be a vacuum here. <laughs> That's true, guys. Abby Maria. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Abby Maria's always great. Have you seen great. the roast? Did, did, <laughs> did, did, yeah. Did you did you did you see it? Yeah. I believe at one point <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. I had to shut it down. Yeah. Did you see it? Rob was like, I did see it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the guy. <laughs> trick <Yeah>. question. <laughs> she was there. I know she was oh. there. <laughs> yeah, she knows. Uh, okay, RHAP uh, recapper. Uh, congrats, Andrea Belke. Uh, can't wait to see what what you do as uh, the RHAP reign, Miss Survivor. There you go. Hashtag. Yeah, okay. So let, you want to start talking about Mr. Survivor? I do. Okay. Where, where should we begin? Just can I take it from the same way? Uh, start from the bottom. Well, I guess I guess so. Uh, let's take one more question. Miss Cleo says, "I wish all results shows were as quick as the Miss Survivor, Mr. Survivor results show." Hashtag no filler. Okay. okay. See, I was gonna put Ms. in the Cleo. filler. This is in uh, Ryan's here. We don't yeah. need to fill it up. Okay, I guess oh, so. Miss Cleo. Our contestants are filler enough. Yeah. Okay, I guess Do so. Do we have a sash for Mr. Survivor? Well, well show, show Poverty what we have Do for we Mr. Have Survivor. All right. Andrea, this is your little tile. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the Mr. Survivor championship belt. This is fantastic. But they can't keep this. It yeah. has to come yeah. back to us Much for like next year, the, uh, the Stanley Cup, the Mr. Oh my God, Survivor this is amazing. championship belt will be passed along from Mr. Survivor to Mr. Survivor. I think you're going to have a hard time getting this back from the winner. I, so they yeah, have I, to sign a contract. I, I switched from being the tabulator to the reclaimer. Yes. Uh, it's, okay. It's a one, like IRN. It's a one year rental. You get it for one year, and, and then, then you have to go back on Survivor if you want it back. Are they going to sign it? Can they, I read what this says? Because this is amazing. What does it, it say? It says, out flex, out bro, out at the club. <laughs> there you go. Mr. <laughs> that's, the, that's the slogan for Mr. Survivor. Okay. Uh, Jay pretty, Hero 17 says, uh, Spencer is on the RHAP chat. True Survivor fan. Have you heard about this guy Spencer on the new Survivor? You know anything about him? I don't. Okay, he's well. He's campaigning early for Mr. Survivor wow. 2015. Wow. Okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Great. He's on the brain. He's on the brains tribe. Okay. And and uh, he wants Do to you be think the villain. It's a brainy move to be promoting yourself already because I as think we it's a brainy saw, move. Andrea came up from behind and she wasn't promoting herself barely at all. No, I think it's a good move. You want to start, you know, fanning the flames a little bit. I think that's a smart move. Or do you want to come up from behind and like really crush it at the end? Throw all of your weight 
into getting the heavy belt. I think that anybody from this current season who wants to be a contender for 2015 should definitely do their campaigning during the fall season so that they're not forgotten as fans. the new game is in the You want to get your fans because yeah. they're all new players. Yeah. Is that yeah. what you're yeah. saying? I think the key to Miss, uh, Mr. Survivor is I think you want to get the get the fans excited about your campaign. Right. And I don't think you could be, just be like a Johnny Come Lately and then come in at the last second. Johnny right. Come Fair Play. Johnny Come Fair Play, right. <laughs> or, or campaign at all. We, just, we saw barely any campaign in the first round of voting this year. Mr. Yeah. Survivor. Okay. Mr. Survivor. Mr. Survivor. All right. Yeah, so, because you want to know why. These guys are all so cocky. They all thought they had it in, like, in the bag. And they're like, oh, if I start promoting myself, I won't look as cool as I am. Right. And right. Then all of a she sudden, just told you. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> nobody do. voted for them, and they had to start campaigning. Yeah. Now, Is that if, what happened? On us? <laughs> oh. If... <laughs> Now, if we, if we opened it up to everybody, do you think that Fincher would have made a big play for Mr. Survivor? Would he have campaigned? Huge. Yeah, he totally would have played. He has no shame in his game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do one more question. Uh, Brendan Noel, apologies if, if I got you in trouble with Jatia, but I'm on your side in Nerdgate. Uh, what, yeah, what's this, yeah. what's this Nerdgate? Elaborate on this. Oh, yes. All right, I know people wanted no filler. Uh, apparently, uh, I, made, I, I made one of the Survivor contestants mad in our preseason preview. Where, with Corinne. No, 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 not, not with Corinne, not with Corinne, with the one that Nicole and I did. Apparently, uh, there, there is one of the one of the contestants. Her name is Jatia. She's on the Brains Tribe, and she has a shirt that says "I Heart Nerds." And she's an ex-Ford model. And she's very attractive. She's very, very. Beautiful. She's very, she's very attractive. And I said, I, I bet she doesn't love nerds. Oh, I bet nice. she's just wearing the, She wears the shirt so people say. Oh my God, you're so beautiful, and you love nerds. You're, you're the perfect. whole package. Mm -hmm. But I suspect if you were to take a look at the, if I got a, a list of uh, her last three uh, lovers, boyfriends, <laughs> let's say, uh, I bet they would How all do be. How you know it's guys? Uh, well, Why the, you gotta describe? Whether it was a man or a woman, I bet they'd all be very <laughs> attractive and not socially awkward. And that was my that was my point. I don't believe she truly loves nerds, and she uh, she put me on blast. You think she would date Cochran? No, no, she would not date no, Cochran. No. She would not date Cochran. Oh, I'm going to ask her. Ask her. Ask okay. her if she'll date Cochran. Um, and then she uh, she put me, called me out a little bit on Twitter today and said, I don't know what I'm talking about. And it doesn't matter about who she dates. She says that she is the nerd and she loves herself and therefore she loves nerds and I'm wrong. And Boom. She, she loves herself. Okay. And so I got served. I got served. <laughs> okay. She told you. I got. Don't I got. You feel dumb now. Girl power. I got served, so I, d I defer to the nerd expertise of Jatia. Yeah. That makes I sense. I know not. She knows much more about nerds and loving nerds and being a nerd than than I ever will. I well, love nerds. You can't really argue with her <laughs> logic. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it. You know what? It's it makes infallible. if if you love nerds <laughs> and then you are a nerd and you have I love nerd T-shirt mm -hmm. and then look, nobody can take that away from you. She's right. I'm wrong. I Who stand corrected. Who won, Mr. Survivor? All right, let's. Do you have ADD today? <laughs> <laughs> Hash, hashtag Nerdgate is what they're calling it. Okay. Okay. Let's... Hashtag who won Mr. Survivor? Tell me. Well, I can tell you who got third place. Third place. That's not good enough for Parvati. She needs to know now. <laughs> okay, tell me third place. Okay, third place, Mr. Survivor. Again, this is all the same ballots. It was 9,300 votes approximately that okay. were cast. Wait, where's ours? Wait, who's our who's our three people? Okay, it was okay. So a little bit of controversy in the Mr. Survivor. So it was going to be the top three people in no particular order. It was Malcolm, it was Tyson, and it was Hayden. And then Hayden said they all confirmed that they were going to be in Mr. Survivor. And then Hayden uh, went went rogue, and then we never heard from Hayden again. Is he back on Big Brother? We don't know. <laughs> he might be. We have we have not heard from Hayden. Uh, much like Brenda, I expect maybe sometime next month. He will tell us what was going on. So, so we we moved on from Hayden and brought in Otis. And then in Otis's interview, he said that he is running for Mr. Survivor as co-Mr. Survivor with his brother Venus. Right. How did you feel about that? I feel good about that. I feel good about that because the brothers made such a strong showing in Blood versus Water, and it was it was like the Bushkowskis brothers show. That was a tongue twister. Yeah. <laughs> and Ada should be really proud of me for saying that last name correctly. But I do believe that they balance each other out. They're sort of a yin-yang duo. 
and I As think that they could a be a great Mr. Survivor together. I just don't know how they're going to fit inside the belt together. <laughs> well, they said they would try. I, I, I would love to see it. I would love well, to see Vitas it. can do. He can hold handstand for a really long time. Yeah. So maybe he's on his hands and ours is standing. There's a theory going around. Uh, this is <laughs> this is from uh, Jorge <laughs> Alvarado. He thinks Hayden is on Big Brother Canada. Canada? <laughs> yes. Okay. How far did you know they have a big brother in Canada? They have their own big brother? I was thinking Latvia, but <laughs> No. Canada, I guess, makes more sense. <laughs> you know of Big Brother Latvia? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they do a lot of bobsledding. Oh. <laughs> Who knew? Skeleton also. Skeleton. So yeah. <laughs> I was big time into the Olympics. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, skating, spoiler you know. alert. Uh, this is from Salome5. If one of the Mr. Survivor finalists broadcasts a live video from an ATM booth, uh, we will know how this competition will end. So, okay. <laughs> clever fans you've got there, Rob. Yeah, they're very clever. Really honest. <laughs> very to be fair, we had Andrea on to test the audio. Yeah. And she just said, well, can you just tell me what the results were? So, By the way, the, for it's 1140 on the East Coast. Almost 600 people are watching this live. Wow. Wow. You guys, <laughs> give it up for yourselves. Yeah. No, he will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kurt. Why didn't what's her name just wear a T-shirt that said "I heart me" instead of "nerd"? That you look. I am not qualified. To I have my own stuff. I'm not qualified to talk about that. Okay. I have been served, and that's it. We were just Ner about to get game. to the exciting results of the third place loser. So in third place <laughs> on Mr. Survivor. Again, 9,300 votes cast with 22% of the vote. Okay. Wait, before you say, <laughs> can we split RS and beat us into two people at this point? Oh, so do you want to tell them Controversy. Fourth place. <laughs> <laughs> so if, like, they get first place, then do you divide their votes in half and say, ooh, you have a no, they were, they were Basically how we did it on the ballot, we said, look, it's Otis is it's on the ballot, vote. and we put in parentheses plus one. So <laughs> so it's like a guest list. Yes. Wow, it, was, a it was Otis plus one. He must Alice. be a good friend. Yes. Okay. But in third place was Tyson Apostle. Oh! oh. 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 A sh a, a, a Mr. Survivor Shocker. I am, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty shocked. Floored. I'm, I'm pretty floored shocked right now. I, a shar I am stunned. I'm stunned. I, I nearly lost it. consciousness. Was this going to be your guest prior? <laughs> Uh, and you're not even drinking your wine. I, I will. I, I'll no, abstain from that. that. for that. No, I'm stunned. I'm shocked. Um, I really thought Tyson was in was in the mix here. I, I did not so. think he was going to get third place. Do you think it was because he straightened his hair for the finale? I don't know what. It, you know what? I I think that Tyson, from reading the chat, I think that Tyson. Some people felt like Tyson didn't have a great debate, uh, and mm. some people felt like he had a stumble on the is there sexism on Survivor question. Oh. And I did see several people in the chat room said, Tyson lost my vote with that answer. And the debate is a big deal. Your listeners are very big on sexism. Yeah, they didn't, people didn't, uh, not everybody liked, now I think Tyson was pretty tongue in cheek with his answer, but I felt like there were some women voters, I feel like, did not turn out for, uh, for Tyson. It's, it's a very specific type of humor. Yeah. He has, and when you have 9,300 people voting, you're, it doesn't necessarily, it's not a type that necessarily appeals to the masses, the, that type of humor. So you think he lost some people from that? Do you have a sense of, was, it, was Tyson, was Tyson clo uh, closer to the pack before the debate, and did he lose uh, ground after the debate? You know what? He was pretty much in third since the polls opened. Yeah, oh. but it's interesting because... He was in the top. He was in the top three in round one, but then he was. Uh, then we lost Hayden, and then Otis came in. So Otis was in fourth. Dark horse. And yep. then he must have leapfrogged. And like what? Where? Just like where did Brenda's votes go? Where did Hayden's votes go? Mm, and where do all the cowboys very... go? Yeah. Exactly. Do the bear shit in the woods? I don't know. <laughs> I don't... Uh, there Let you me go. ask you this. There's do the first lady that, of podcasting. Do you think that RS could have won on his own ticket or could have even been a contender on his own ticket? Or do you think because he has Vetus, he's making a stronger play? That remains to be seen. Or do it... theories. Oh, the tabulator. But no, but I'll but I'll wait but I think we need to wait till the actually the end of the But didn't okay. Tyson's campaign manager jump ship when Aris came back? Oh. Was it Rachel? It no. wasn't Rachel, no. No, let's, let's, let's take some reaction on this. <laughs> no. um, 
Let's see. Uh, hold on. Uh, this is from Chocolate Chuck. Does Poverty think any of the final three Mr. Survivor candidates can handle the heat if someone like Cochran comes for the belt during their reign? What do you think? Good question. Well... Is that possible, Rob? No, I don't With think... With the rules of the Mr. Survivor no competition. Violence. No, no vi violence. No violence, please. Yeah. No violence, please. Let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, Georgia Griffin wants to know, uh, who does Parvati want to win Mr. Survivor? Did you, you endorse, endorse anybody you know for Mr. Survivor? I didn't endorse anyone. I didn't. I was trying to stay impartial and sort of above the fray so that I could congratulate and be happy for whoever does win. But at this point, I mean, Tyson's <laughs> out. So I only have three people. To, well, really, technically, two and a half, two, two and a half. Plus, plus one, plus two, <laughs> two plus one people to choose between. So I'm gonna go Bushkowskis, brother. Okay, uh, supporting but the Bushkowskis. I love Malcolm too. He's a sweetheart. So I'm I'm throwing my my weight towards Bushkowskis. Kristen uh, Kristen X Marie says, and Rob and Nicole are the only ones shocked about Tyson's third place finish. The only oh. ones in the world. I oh, mean, like none of the fans are shocked. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm surprised. He must have really tanked in that debate. Yeah, well, no, I thought he was. I thought he was okay. I mean, I, they were, I just. I'm telling you the reaction that I saw from people. I saw some people said, "Oh, well, I didn't like how Tyson answered that question." You know, Tyson is like a box of chocolate. And I felt like a lot of people felt like well, when I asked who won the debate, I felt like a lot of people said Malcolm and a lot of people said Otis, but oh. very few people felt like Tyson won the debate. Well, he won Survivor, but he didn't win the debate. I guess I was it's fitting that he didn't win Mr. Survivor then. I was this close to keeping score during the debate, debate as well. I thought that would be an interesting role for the tag. I think that year. maybe we need the Mr. and Miss Survivor from 2014 to keep keep tabs in the debate for 2015. That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple more questions, then we'll find out who won Mr. Survivor. Okay, this is from... Uh, do you, Barbara, do you want to pretend like this is Survivor Live? Yes, and, okay. this is from S.J. Ferguson. Sarah Ferguson, that is. The fact that Tyson Apostle got third place in Mr. Survivor is a huge disappointment. Uh, some, well, some people are... I guess some people are Yes, upset. take that, Kristen X. Marie. Yeah, yeah, take that. Some people are, <laughs> are huge disappointed. Okay? So, are we going to start a fight on the message boards? Or <laughs> oh, I hope we not. always do, I hope Sarah. Not. All right, Parv, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Sarah, we need, hold on, we need, we need another question. A new question. All right. today, yes. Then. All right. I'll let you know when we have, when we have another one. All right. One, one more. Okay. Okay. This is from Rochelle H. Mann. No. <laughs> Rachel Lehman. Rachel Lehman. Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> she says, he lost my vote for straightening his hair, Parvati. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I think that he might have really thrown some people off with that look. What should he have done? Should, what, what if he curled his hair? I had a conversation with him about it regarding the hair. Because it's not his typical look. You know, Tyson's more, he's much more natural, laid back, a little disheveled, like devil may care. And he comes to the finale with a full Brazilian blowout. What give? <laughs> so, so you see have Tyson. Yeah, so he told me he, they tried to do his hair in a sleek ponytail. And uh, he said he looked like a child molester. <laughs> so his girlfriend, Rachel, as we all know and love, made him take his ponytail out. And that's what it ended up as. <laughs> a sleek ponytail. I, I do want to address one of the questions really I see in the, uh, in the chat. Uh, yes. One of the questions is, you know, since most of the voting period is before the debate, does the debate really matter? Actually, the polls opened on Monday, the debates were Tuesday, Wednesday, and the polls closed at midnight on Saturday. And approximately 20, maybe about 20% of the votes were cast before the debates, and the remainder, remaining 80% didn't happen until after the debates. So That's I just want to make that clear. Yeah, well, but the voters were smart. The people, if you knew what you were going to do, if you knew who you were going to pull the lever for no matter what you voted, but a lot of people said, I want to see the debate. Yeah, and it's very technical. I like the way you guys have it set up. <laughs> it's very, it's it's very really fancy. Smooth. All right, Poverty, one more question. we got to get okay, you ready for more. Thursday. Jordan T. Chong. Jordan Chong. At <laughs> <laughs> Rob Sesternino. Tyson didn't win Mr. Survivor because all he was talking about was his hashtag... Bulge. Oh, the big bad bulge. Uh, do you think that Tyson lost Mr. Survivor because he talked about his bulge too much? <sighs> Why is everyone looking at me for this one? Um, you know, I, I think you. The man I with think the you, belt. I think you probed the bulge. Uh, you perhaps probed more than, a bulge. More than mm -hmm. it was. Uh, needed, That's what I but I think, he, he, I think he maybe got a little defensive and felt well, he had to defend the bulge. One of the issues I know, that I think was a bulge up. would help so uh, Yeah, I would, I would it wasn't my vote. It was, go ahead. One of the issues that was brought up in the Mr. Survivor debates was uh, blurring the bulge. Are you for it or against it on Survivor? Oh. And the candidates uh, gave their opinion, and I believe 
that it was either Tyson or was it Otis or Malcolm said to Tyson, well, you said you don't have a bulge. And he argued that. He said, no, uh, no, bro, that's not what I said. What I said is I already have a bulge, and if I put the hidden immunity idol there, nobody will suspect it because I already correct. have a bulge. That is correct. So right. there was a, it was a bit of a, a, a point of contention. And again, another one of these inflection points in the debate where maybe Mr. Survivor was won or lost. I mean, great for you get that technology they have in the actual debates where you have the little the people have the little dial to say who they're really kind of <laughs> feeling feel, feeling it for, and you can yeah. see where does Tyson <laughs> kind of peak during the debates? Oh, Baldgate, he he dropped in popularity. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll have that on YouTube by next year. I yeah. think we should definitely add that. <laughs> All right, Kurt, are you ready to tell us? The winner of Mr. Survivor. Yes, I am. I love Parvi's trying to see my notes over my shoulder, and I don't have the I names. Know, Jamie, that's nothing. why she's so good. I that's why she's. Numbers. Numbers. I know, like, and I don't. I don't. I just have the percentages written but down. They mean nothing to me. It's like decimal, Dewey decimal point. Yeah, that's not, what the it's not her language. My the, dad look, is a math teacher, but you, I. You're looking over his subject. shoulder because you're a great survivor. You have your notebook in a language only you understand because you're but a great Rob, tabulator. Little do people know that yes. if you're a great survivor, it doesn't mean that you're constantly playing the game in life. I feel like you're saying it like I'm always playing the game in, in real life. I'm saying it like you don't you don't have to just assume because I'm good at Survivor that I'm cheating. <laughs> what reason should we <laughs> <laughs> should we assume that you're cheating? <laughs> I just am really excited. Okay. Great. Well let, let's get let's just build that excitement forward. Let's build it up. Let's build <laughs> let's up go. the bulge. Okay. And the excitement. Hold on. And the bulge. Isaac, <laughs> Isaac Samayo says, I, I want, want Malcolm. Malcolm to win. He <laughs> said it in that voice. Yeah. You have to do all the tweet reading yeah. in a different character right. every time. Hold on, can I do one no, more this thing? This is how I'm going to do the after show, you, the live show Everybody's now. tweets you're going to do in the... In new different answer. voices. So he write in in an <laughs> English name. I'm going to read it like that. Arr, that was I, a really good one. Yeah, that was good. I didn't know you had so, you had so many impressions. <laughs> that um, was good. Here's what I want to do. Chat room, real quick. Who is Mr. Survivor? Just for the sake of convenience, I'll write Otis and Vetus. Aris or Malcolm? Who is who Ready, is Mr. Survivor? Go. go. Let's see. Ready, what, go. We'll watch the names fly by, and we'll get just a quick poll of what people are saying. It's about this is a couple seconds. Malcolm. Away. Couple seconds uh, lag. Malcolm. Malcolm is overrated, I see. Ooh. Oh, from Sydney. Well. <laughs> so real quick, Malcolm. No, Hashtag nobody you. cares. Malcolm or <laughs> Otis. Okay. All right, here we go. Some LOLs. Okay. I see Malk, Otis. Uh, Parvati. Okay. I'm not trying out for Mr. Survivor. All right, so it looks it looks 50-50 yeah. here in the chat room. The votes are split. Aris, Malcolm, Vetus, Aris, Malcolm. Oh my God, it's going so fast. Yeah. Well, Whoa. there's, there's, there's over, <laughs> over 600 people watching Whoa. this live. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that thing's going crazy. Uh, all right, like 50 50. <laughs> all right, yeah, so if you're, if you're in the chat room, you know what we're talking about right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you're not, then get I'm on it. to the audio. Okay. Okay. The winner. Of Mr. Survivor, with 46.7% of the vote, Malcolm. Malcolm! Malcolm. And what was the, the final number for Otis and Vetus? 30.8% uh, of the vote. And we'll compare so it to Tyson? 22%. Uh, okay, so... So close. 46 Otis, versus 30 Otis versus 22. Otis came in, he, leap, he leapfrogged, Malcolm, or leapfrogged Tyson, but Malcolm is... Your winner of Mr. Yay! Survivor 2014. I'm happy for Mal. Yes. Uh, that I think Malcolm is going to be a good Mr. Survivor. A good yes. uh, showing for Karen Mullen. Good. Uh, Andrea and Mal. Andrea and Malcolm. They were almost like brother if, and sister. Do you think that if RS would have grown his hair out longer? I was just going to say that he could have won. Mm -hmm. Malcolm. Gaming fanatic 91 says, "Go, Malcolm." Malcolm also rides a motorcycle. He so rides a motorcycle. He's dangerous. Malcolm made a lot of campaign promises. Malcolm promised uh, he has an Instagram. He oh. said he would be taking the Mr. Survivor belt on the road and doing Instagram photos. <gasps> oh, wow, like that's Survivor. why he won. That's so good. Yeah. He reminds me. Do you watch Sons of Anarchy? No. Oh, he reminds me of Jack. I can't even relate. 
<laughs> yeah, Kurt, can you relate? Um, I watched three episodes of the first season, so no. I can't. <laughs> well, you, you know who I'm talking about. Either. Yes. Anyone Jax is, is very. All right, let's uh, let's take some reaction here live. Uh, this is from uh, J M Duva. Gained a lot of uh, Odyssey music. Gained a lot of votes in the mist or uh, in, in the midst of Irish Arm. Yes. So that was one of the things that Otis did well. He went out on the campaign trail and he kissed a lot of babies in the chat room. He did, and well, I was I was. A baby. I thought you were gonna yeah. say babe. I don't know if you can yeah. slot The uh, I was able to attend the Miss Survivor debates live via chat room, and he was he was interacting with the folks there. I think that we saw a lot of Otis references in the chat room, and maybe even a little bit more than Malcolm. And I think that's because he went into this crowd and he uh, placated them. He you know schmoozed them, and he actually he had a good performance there. He was just in interacting and mingling. He was smart. He commented on YouTube. He commented on Rob as a website. He commented in the chat room. So. He did a lot to go out and campaign and you know mix it up with the voting public. Aris would have been a good Mr. Survivor. I, he, what was he missing then? What was I his think I don't block? think it's what he was missing. I think it's what he added. To be, yeah, do you think that the Vetus thing cost him? I do. I really do. Ooh. And and nothing against either of them. I love both the guys. But I did well, see just well, from what I've seen that's out there. True. He won Survivor without his brother, and then he lost with him. The good point. And I mean, just looking at some of the the commentary on the 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 podcast and the chat and the message boards and the podcasts on Survivor sucks. Just all the different message boards out there. I just was kind of looking to see what people were saying God, about the campaign. Message board. There's a, there's a ten too many. It's like a yeah. Job. And, uh, people. and there was a lot. There was a more negative reaction to. I don't think it was so much the fact that it was Vetus that was added. It was the fact that Otis decided to add somebody. I Do think that might have hurt him more than it helped him. Do you think Vetus did it on purpose to sabotage Aris's Mr. Survivor campaign? Mm, like, if you are, if you, I can't have this, you can't have it. <laughs> I don't think that's what Vetus did. I no. think they really thought, I think they felt like it was a good idea. I think they felt like we weren't in the top three. We need something big. We need to make a splash right. here in the competition. And I think that a lot of people liked it, but I think uh, a vocal minority really didn't like it. Yeah. And I really heard about really it heard for a couple it. days. And oh. yeah, <laughs> yes. And you know, Otis is already kind of on the the mount. We got a more. baby going crazy. Yes. He's really mad right now. He's so that's mad that Aris, Uncle Aris, didn't win. <laughs> yeah. He's very upset. Yes. There's real life happening here, people. Yeah. And and as Otis has a, I think, a strong fan base amongst the rap listeners. And I think maybe there's this unknown entity of how Vetus would actually interact with it. I don't know if that if that maybe was part of it. Now I do have a consolation prize for you, Otis fans. I want to uh, get him. And that and that consolation prize is uh, this Thursday, uh, Otis Bushkowskis uh, will be your first Survivor guest here on Rob is a podcast for the new season. Live so, in studio. Li he'll he will be in studio. I'm not sure if we'll be if we'll be okay. live. But we will have our a an oddest interview, and we can ask him all these questions on Thursday. Is the pull up bar around somewhere? It's upstairs. It is. Okay, okay. We moved upstairs. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and we will not be doing a three hour. Where's podcast Malcolm on... to give his victory speech? I don't know where Malcolm. He might be bartending. Someone check an ATM booth. Check the ATM Somebody booth. Somebody call him on Skype. Yeah. So guest number one to kick off uh, Survivor Kugayan. Uh, will be Otis <laughs> Bushkowskis. That's the correct pronunciation. Yeah. You have to practice that for Survivor. Say it again. Kugayun. Kugayun. And if you hear differently, let us know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And also we going know where back the next to, Survivor um, is. I know. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I, I wanted someone to tell it, me. Is it in, is it in the Philippines? <laughs> yeah, probably. Let me guess. Um, <laughs> and just going back to round one. Oh yes. Of Mr. Survivor, uh, Malcolm had 48 percent of the ballots cast. He held. Him. He he pretty much held. He grew a little bit. Whoa. Are we talking bulge <laughs> again? What? But bulge? if you're looking at uh, Hayden, Hayden had 39 percent of votes, and with, see this and is Tyson. where I think we all went wrong. Hayden was in it in the beginning, and I think if Aris was coming in to take over Hayden's spot, we should have shuffled the votes over to Aris from Hayden. So the people that voted world. for Hayden just then then they voted for Defaulted, Otis without uh, yeah it defaults to Aris because no. their guy that no. they voted for yeah. didn't show up yeah but it, it wasn't like Otis was his vice president where it was like a vote for Hayden and okay then... that's a good idea next Mister and Mrs Survivor you will have a vice president no here's what I would say the next Mister Survivor <laughs> in case you back think up, about back whether out. your your candidate is likely to make a run for and maybe ask them on Twitter Do if you I vote, vote for you. Will you plan on running for Miss Survivor or Mr. Survivor? And if they don't answer, don't vote for them. 
Yeah, because I know there, Jervis did get some votes, but he publicly declared he did not want to run. If you were going to vote for me, please instead vote for Tyson. So ask your candidate whether or not they wow. want to be Mr. or Ms. Survivor. Why? Right. Why would Jervis not want to be Mr. Survivor? Like, a, Was he embarrassed? Yeah. Do you need to go? Yeah, I'm going to run upstairs. Okay. So, uh, all right. Nicole's going to take an early exit. We're going to wrap up in a second. Okay. Guys, uh, it's been real. It's been, it's, it's, it has <laughs> when been. When Nicole leaves, I, I leave. Okay. <laughs> No. I don't know if I finished uh, the, the thought, though, but oh. Tyson and Hayden both had, like, 39% of ballots cast. The final vote was, tw uh, in the first round, 27 ballots separated Hayden and Tyson. Whoa. So it was, it was very, very, very close. So Tyson lost ground from the first round to the second round. Right. And Wait, originally... Let me ask, let me interject yeah. something that's completely off topic, because yeah. I'm obviously drifting. So, <laughs> I'm asking you this, Rob. Yes. As the man who created Miss Survivor, and the man who continues the <laughs> Miss Survivor tradition. Yes. Since I was the original Miss Survivor, and I'm no longer Miss Survivor... And Andrea is. Is she going to be a part of these shows moving forward? Like, like instead of my place here, it will be Andrea here. You will hashing it out with you guys. You will always have a seat at uh, Miss Survivor as long as you want. As long as you want to do it forever. As long as long as you want to be a part of Miss Survivor, you will always be part of Miss Survivor. Now, I don't know if I would extend that courtesy to every Miss Survivor. <laughs> Uh, but there's, as, only, as, there's <laughs> only one other one. Well, two. There's, no? there's two. There's two. Okay. Um, but I would I would say absolutely that we're as long as you want to be a part of Miss Survivor. Because I, I think that. like I think the fans should see the new Miss Survivor here passing the crown along, yes. like as Miss USA does and as Miss Universe does. Not that I don't enjoy, I do enjoy coming and and even if you're in New York, commentating and, and we're and we're here and who knows one day you could be in you could be in New York or we could be in New York or we could be wherever we are. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get you on on uh hologram whatever whatever we need. Google yeah. Glass. On Google on Darn Google Glass. <laughs> All right. Um, He's happy now. Harvey, you want to practice one more question? One more question. Okay. This is from. This is from. Uh, let me do it, Rob. Okay. Okay. Sorry. At a Survivor fan, Kyle, Kyle F. At Rob Sesternino. Hey, Parvati. Love you. By the way, smiley face. So glad Malcolm won. He is not only wait. He is not only hot. He is popular. Perfect combination. Hot and popular. You I wonder if Malcolm loves nerds. Does Malcolm love nerds? Does he love ner uh, nerdy girls? I, I, I suspect no. I suspect no, I no. think he might, actually. Malcolm's a bit nerdy himself. I don't know if you guys knew that. He, uh, he looks cool and, hard and yes. hot and like a bad boy, but he's a real big, sweet nerd at heart. Yeah, but I doubt that, that he likes uh, nerd girls. He does have a blog called Awkward Whiskey and Ninja Silence. Turtles. Yeah. Yes. So I think he is. He. I think. He, I think he is a deep down. He. He might have an inner nerd. But again, okay, I'm just, not. Yeah. I am not qualified so to talk about this. He needs a T-shirt that says "I heart myself." My, my heart myself. There you go. I heart myself. All right. I can't wait to see him in that belt. Uh, both the alternates got second place. That's from OMG. It's Cassidy. Yeah, interesting. How interesting can you development. read their titles so quickly? Oh, a, lot of them, a lot of them I've seen a bunch of times before. Yeah. So what's interesting to think about is in the alternate universe where you were originally going to just have Malcolm and Tyson run, because I just made a good case for why he should be included. Head to head. Yeah, yeah. head to head. Um, I, wonder, I, wonder, I wonder what would have happened had there only been two finalists. Sounds like Tyson would have got smoked by Malcolm. Yeah. Unless I'm wondering if the oddest oh, votes were see, drawn yeah, away. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think that I think that's what happened. I think that mm. I think that the oddest, the people that voted for oddest would have voted for Tyson. Rather than, yeah. I think that's a strong. Yeah. I think you're right. I think, I think they you're right. I think they, maybe Aris screwed his friend Tyson. I think so. Well, I think out I, of the title. I think that's a possibility. I think that's a possibility. But uh, at least we have Andrea and we have Malcolm from the same season, which is fun. Yeah. You have so a, they already have a connection. And one of them's local. One of them's local. Hopefully has a potential and I think Andrea is here from time to time also. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's start to wrap up uh, Miss Survivor, Mrs. Survivor. Parvati, first off, thank you so much for, for coming here. Thank you for having Watch me. Watch Parvati a pleasure. this Thursday on, what is it called? Still Survivor Su Live. It's not Survivor After it. Show? It's not the After Show anymore. It's a live show. Yeah. People are writing in. You guys are writing in. Ask your questions, whatever you want to know about the new season and whoever the castaway is or castaways, as you've inferred. Two people. Two-hour premiere. Maybe two people yeah. in the studio with me on Thursday. So it should be really fun. It's a totally different format. What if they start to fight? They might start to fight. What will you do? Will you let them fight? Well, I've been going to Krav Maga, so I know oh, a no. lot about Israeli martial arts. And you would let you would let it go? I'm not sure if I would get involved or if I would stop it or I would just let them 
hash it out amongst themselves. I guess people will just have to tune in to see, but thank you for heightening the suspense and the drama. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Uh, on Tuesday night, we will have our Amazing Race uh, live recap. We will talk with uh, Team Guido from the original Amazing Race at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. And then don't miss Survivor Know-It-Alls on Wednesday night live at 10.15. Stephen Fishback and I will break down everything that happened and uh, talk about t a two-hour Survivor premiere on Wednesday. Sounds great. Yeah. Two and, hours. And, and, and don't forget, I think this is the final week of Opposite Worlds. Oh, yeah. And we have, <laughs> and we have to figure out when the Opposite Worlds up. The, the Opposite Worlds finale, we'll get to it when we get to it. I'm sorry, but we'll, we'll figure that out as well. And when are we going to tune into Hayden, Big Brother Canada? <laughs> Big Brother Canada? I believe there should be a premiere dropping, or uh, the cast should be announced this week, I believe, because the premiere of Big Brother Canada is a week from Wednesday. I liked it better when you said a premiere dropping. Also, let me ask you this. What's is that? that the gold medalist figure skating champions from I, this winter's Olympics? I the curly-haired guy? No, I think that's a, a Simon and that's Garfunkel a, record. That's Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks like... Not, these, are not, uh, these are not figure skater <laughs> Olympic people. It looks like that. There you go. <laughs> all right, yeah, we'll go out on that. Now, all right, and Th scene. Yeah, all right. Thank you guys so much, Kurt Clark. Thank you for coming in live for this. The tabulator oh, did a great job. Yeah. We could not do this. So uh, we could not do this uh, without Kurt. Thank you so much. Uh, the the Mr. Survivor uh, belt was uh, w it was not cheap, and uh, Kurt helped Kurt helped us uh, with uh, making that Mr. Survivor belt a possibility as well. So thank you for that, Kurt. Thank you for all of your hard work. How many hours total did you put in on this in this Survivor? Like two, three. No. No. <laughs> um, it's in the double digits, but it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It's something you enjoy. The time goes by fast. Okay. And who bedazzled this Chorovsky <laughs> yes, crowd? Those that, that are real diamonds. Those are real diamonds. <laughs> my my other job. Andrea, this is coming for you. It's coming Girlfriend. for you. All right, everybody, have a great night. Thanks so much, Miss and Mr. Survivor. It was so much fun for me, but I am happy it's over. <laughs> it's been a long <laughs> six weeks. It's, it's, Congratulations. Really, you guys made it happen. You guys made I it happen. I now understand how Santa only does it once a year. Believe it or not, I believe, <laughs> I believe Miss, Mr. Spiver has been longer than 39 days this year. Yeah, I, think I think so. Wow. I think God, so. All right. Have a good one. Have serious. a good night, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.